I'm going to be showing you how to use our cat's mould and our dog's mould. Each mould gives you five different breeds. So on the dogs we have a Poodle, a Shih Tzu, a Labrador, a Spaniel and a Pug. On the cats we have an American Shorthair, a Persian, a Tomcat, a Siamese and a Scottish Fold. You've also got a little fish, a ball of wool and a mouse. So with each of the moulds, the breeds can be adapted depending on how you colour them. So for instance, the Labrador can be adapted into a Retriever, the Shih Tzu can be adapted into a Lacerapso, um, the Siamese can be adapted into a Tabby Cat. So, you know, the options are endless. So I'm going to show you how to make the Labrador and the Tomcat. So with all of our moulds, we dust them with corn flour first. This stops your sugar paste from sticking. We use our own brand of sugar paste, the Karen Davis sugar paste. This comes in two different flavours. We have marshmallow and we have vanilla. Our paste works straight from the packet, um, so it won't stick in the moulds. You can use other brands, but we just say to firm them up with Tylo powder or CMC first. This varies depending on which brand of paste you use, as some are more tacky than others. So I've dusted my Labrador with corn flour and I've tapped out the excess. Now I've got here some of our sugar paste that I've coloured. Um, with a yellow colour. So I'm just giving it a quick knead. I'm going to roll a smooth ball to start with. And I'm just going to start by pressing really firmly into the head. And you just work your sugar paste down like this with your fingers and now I'm just using my finger to gently stroke some paste up into the dog's tail. So if you guide your paste or your excess paste over to one end you can gently pull that away then with your thumb. Now I'm just going back over making sure that everything's pressed down nice and firmly and that there's no paste over the edges. So now I can turn the mould over and peel it back. And there we have our Labrador. So now, all I'm going to do is give him some light shading around his tail and his arms and his ears. So all I'm doing is I've got milk chocolate powder colour here. I'm just getting a little bit on my brush and tapping away any excess on some kitchen towel. So to begin with, I'm just going to give him a light brush around the creases of his arms and his feet. Like that. And then around his ears. and just on his thighs there, and a little bit on his tail. And all that does is just brings out the detail in the mould. So next, I'm just going to give him a light amount of colour on his cheeks using this rose powder colour. So again, just want a little bit on my brush and dust away any excess on the kitchen towel. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of blusher on him there. So now I've got to paint his eyes. So with the eyes, we want to turn the powder into a paint. Now we do this by putting a small amount of the colour in the lid 
and just add in a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. This turns the powder into a paint and now it will only stay like this for about 20 seconds and then it goes back into being a powder. So I'm just going to paint over where his eyes are, like that. And then next, I just want black powder colour for his pupils. So just putting a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in the lid and mixing it into a paint. So again, you just carefully paint in his pupils. I'm going to go back to using the white. And all I want to do is add a little highlight in each eye and this really brings into life. Like that. And then to finish off, we just need to paint his nose in black. And there he goes. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do the Tomcat. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you'd like to see more of our videos then please visit our YouTube channel or our website www.karendaviscakes.co.uk